Hi everyone, this is Kevin Hawk with TheBassCast.com and this week I want to talk to you about summertime ledge fishing. You know, there's a lot of different baits you can throw on ledges and, and a lot of times all you hear about is guys dragging a big Texas rig worm or maybe a heavy football jig. But there's a few baits, you know, that I've grown to include in my arsenal that get me some bigger bites and I want to share those with you today. The first is a flutter spoon. You know, I like a five or six inch lake fork flutter spoon for a few reasons. You know, a lot of times the fish get conditioned to seeing, you know, you drag a bottom presentation, whether it be a Texas rig or a football jig. And sometimes, you know, the bigger fish, even if they're, even if they're feeding, will, you know, suspend up off the bottom a little bit. And a lot of times when they're inactive, they're always suspended off the bottom. And a flutter spoon is a good way to get a bait right in front of their face. You know, what I'll do with this bait is I'll cast it out, I'll let it hit the bottom, and then I'll engage my reel, and I'll make, you know, hops with my raw tip. You know, I, I imagine the spoon coming up off the bottom, a foot, foot and a half, two foot, maybe even three foot sometimes. You just kind of have to play with the retrieve and, and find out, you know, what the fish want. But usually I'll take a pretty aggressive hop, hop it off the bottom, and just follow my line back down with my rod tip, watching for any indication of a bite. Most of the time they hit this thing pretty aggressive and you'll feel a distinct thump. But other times, you know, when you don't really feel them real well, you can watch that line and see them bite. Another bait that I like that not a lot of people throw is, is a really big swim bait. This is a six inch Osprey Tournament Top Talon. And it weighs, you know, right around an ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half. And what's, what's good about this bait is it, it really weeds out the smaller bites a lot of times. I'll cast this out, let it hit the bottom, and I'll just start a slow retrieve back to the boat. What you want to make sure is keep in contact with the bottom as much as you can on your entire retrieve. So it's important to make a long cast and just really reel it real slow. If you feel it come up off the bottom, just stop reeling and let it fall right back down again. The third bait I really like is a Magnum Zoom Trick Worm on a football head. You know, when a lot of guys think of a Texas rig on ledge fishing, they think of a traditional style Texas rig where you have a bullet weight and then your worm behind it. With this fixated presentation, it gives it a little bit different presentation in the water. When you're pulling it through the water and it's hitting the bottom, it stands up a lot more than a traditional Texas rig which lays down. Finally, before I leave any ledge that I've caught fish on, I want to make a vertical presentation and for that I use a drop shot rig. You know, a lot of guys don't think of drop shotting as a good technique for ledge fishing. But I, I've had a lot of experiences where, you know, I'll make one or two vertical presentations before I leave my ledge after I've fished it with a spoon or a swim bait. And I'll get some more bites and a lot of times they're good bites. You know, I usually just use, you know, light line with a heavy weight, like a quarter or three ounce. I like a six inch robo worm and just drop it straight down beneath the boat, right underneath the trolling motor, right on top of that ledge and a lot of times that'll get a good bite. I hope these tips have helped you out with your summertime ledge fishing. Join me next week on thebasscast.com.